What's up, YouTube? This is the man 7431 back with another video. As you probably remember, I did an unboxing on a used iPhone 3GS 16 gigabyte yesterday. I purchased this phone off eBay, and already there is problems with this phone. Um, the problems I'm going to point out is the home button. I mean, the power button up here at the top does not work. I'm pressing it. Nothing works. Okay. Another thing that doesn't work is the volume up and down. You don't see any notifications of this happening on the front of the phone. Another thing is the toggle button to um, silent and vibrate the phone, mute and vibrate it. No notification on the screen whatsoever, guys. Um, but I can control the volume. Like if I put some music on here, I can't control it within the touch feature of the phone. But that's basically all that I can do. Um, as far as the camera goes, it works perfectly. Um, all of this stuff works. Video. Um, got my Blackberry over there charging. So basically, guys, what's going on right now is um, I called Apple, and the phone still has a pretty good warranty on it. I think they told me it's got 615 days on it left, which is about a year almost. About a year and eight months or something like that. So the warranty's still good. So I set up an appointment with the Apple Store, which uh, my friend's going to be taking me a little bit later. So we can go down there and see what's up with the phone. Um, I did the test on the phone with the guy. I put the flashlight up in here. And I guess if it's water damage, it's supposed to be a certain color. But mine checked out to be okay. It was white inside of here. And he told me to check the headphone jack. And it was white inside of there, which is thumbs up. Um, so he set me an appointment up with Apple. I'm going to be going there later today. Um, they're going to do the test with the flashlights. And then he says they're going to do a diagnostic test on it. I'm hoping and I'm praying that um, they tell me that, okay, well, it's we could fix it. It's free of charge. It's in your warranty. It doesn't look like it's been dropped or anything. It's just, just automatic wear and tear. You know, it just stopped working or the phone might have been defected, you know, when he got it. When I, you know, when I got it off the guy, you know, it could just... It could have happened like a few weeks after that or a month later. But anyway, I'm hoping that everything goes good, guys. Um, what I'm hoping to happen is I take it down there. They do their test. They say it's wear and tear. They either could fix it for free or if they can't fix it, they'll just give me a brand new iPhone 16 gigabyte 3GS for free. Okay. That'll be the good thumb sides up of it, guys. Um, if they open it up and say, oh, well, it's been dropped and it's going to cost me a couple hundred dollars to get a new one. Well, to you guys at home, it seems like, wow, that's a deal. I would do it. But if you knew how much I spent on this phone to begin with, it's like the guy that sold me the phone actually... I gave him all that money, and I still had to end up pocketing out more money just to get another phone. So he ended up winning in the end. So I'm thinking, well, I could go that route. 
Or, if he tells me that it's wear and tear and he can fix it for free, that's great. If he tells me, well, the phone's been dropped, you got to pay additional $200 and we'll give you a new one, we can't fix it, then I'm just going to send the phone back to the guy, get a full refund, and maybe add another 100 bucks to it and just go ahead and buy a brand new iPhone 3G. So, I don't know, man. I mean, a 3GS, guys. So, I don't know. Um, I did a system restore. Still no volume up. No volume down. Um, power doesn't work. I did like a million steps on the phone with this guy. Those guys on the phone, they, they really know what they're talking about. We talked on the phone for at least an hour or so trying to get this thing on and it just wasn't working guys so um wish me luck today i'm going to hope and pray to god that he says he opens it up normal wear and tear gives me a new 3gs for free if that happens i will make a video if it doesn't happen i'll still make a video letting you guys know what happened um, so yeah, that's it. Um, trying to make this video short. Usually my videos are like nine minutes and something. Um, but that's it guys. So basically wish me luck, um, on getting a new iPhone 3GS for free if they can't fix this one. If they can fix this one, great. If not, give me another one for free. If not, I'll send it back and... Yes, I just have to drop a little bit more extra money and get a brand new one. So, tell me what you guys think I should do. Should I go ahead and give Apple an extra couple hundred dollars to get a new one, even though I'm going to be out of all the money I spent on this one? Or should I say to hell with it and take this back to the guy or send it back to him through eBay and get my money back that I spent on it and just spend an additional I think it's probably like a hundred bucks just to get a brand new one drop me a comment down at the bottom on what you guys think I should do um, I'm still gonna go to the Apple store anyway and see what they think hopefully everything goes through smoothly guys um, I'll get back with you with the results when I come back in later today so again this is the man 7431 signing out and this video wasn't nine minutes and something minutes long, guys. Nine minutes and some change long. So, all right, I'm out of here. This is the man 7431. Remember, subscribe to my channel. Go to my Twitter. Twitter is, it's twitter.com forward slash the man 7431. I've got tons of giveaways. Tons and tons and tons of really cool stuff, guys. It is going to be really there's going to be a lot more stuff to come, so stay tuned, my, stay tuned to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will get back with you guys with another video. So, this is the Man7431 signing out. Peace.